In this video, I'll be showing you this USB-C OTG adapter for the Google Chromecast with Google TV. Using an adapter like this allows you to connect peripherals such as a keyboard or mouse and an ethernet adapter. This makes for an even better experience using your Chromecast as a home theater PC. This is what the adapter looks like. It basically plugs into the USB-C port on the Chromecast, and then you get another USB-C port where you connect the power and a USB-A where you would connect your peripherals. If you already have one like this, you can try it out and see if it works. Otherwise, you can check this one out using the link in the description. This one is guaranteed to work, so if you wanna go ahead and purchase that one, then go ahead and do so. Anyways, without further ado, I'll be showing you a few different things you can do here. So basically, you can go ahead and connect a keyboard or mouse. In my case, I have a Logitech keyboard that has a built-in trackpad, and immediately you get a cursor on the screen, and then you can use the keyboard. This is helpful, so if you wanna go search for a specific movie, you can just use the keyboard to type the name. Another use for the keyboard on the Chromecast is being able to use the Chrome web browser. This allows you to click the accept and continue, which otherwise you would not be able to with the traditional remote. Then you can go ahead and navigate, which is really easy to do. And you pretty much get a full screen web browser on your TV. There are several compatibility issues, but this can usually be resolved by clicking request desktop site. And now everything pretty much works. So another cool thing you can do with the keyboard is use it to leave comments on apps such as Twitch. Here we're going to go ahead and leave a comment from my friend and Droolerin. Make sure to check out his Twitch using the link in the description. The only thing with using the keyboard is you always have to scroll down to the check mark and then use that in order to send your message. You also have to go in here and send, but that's something that's pretty doable. Another thing you can do with this adapter is connect a USB flash drive. The flash drive has to be formatted in FAT32 and you need an app in order to access the contents of the flash drive. The app could be a file manager or it could be a media center app. Using the flash drive with your Chromecast basically opens up the possibilities of loading movies onto the flash drive and watching them wherever you go. The example I will be using here is my own personal video, which I can go to and select and it will start playing. I can even fast forward and it's pretty much flawless. There's a lot more things you can do with the flash drive, but using it to store videos is usually the more common thing to do. The last thing I will show you here is using a USB Ethernet adapter. For this, I will go ahead and disable the Wi-Fi just to show you that it's working. And it's pretty much straightforward. You can see Ethernet connected and it picks it up automatically. I can even go in YouTube and make sure that everything's working normally. And as you can see, we have internet. Last thing I will do here is show you a speed test in order to see how efficient this will work. Now I'll let you know right away in my specific scenario, I did not notice a difference between Wi-Fi and ethernet. The speeds were pretty much about the same. So for me specifically, I will not be using an ethernet adapter. 
as it pretty much just doesn't look pretty hanging from my TV. If you feel like this will be helpful for you, then definitely give it a try and hopefully it works out. That's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you found this helpful. Subscribe for more videos like this. And if you would like to pick up this adapter, make sure to use the link in the description. It is an Amazon affiliate link, which helps the channel out. And as always, I will catch you in the next video.